Hey there, Monarch Nation. Welcome to December signing day for the ODU football program. I'm Ted Alexander with head coach Bobby Wilder. This is an exciting day. Oh, it is, Ted, and this has been a culmination of really the last couple of months. We started on this in mid-October, particularly with the junior college recruiting, and then the entire staff went out the bye week, the first week in November. We had 10 coaches all over America. The last three weeks, I've personally been to Mississippi, California, Texas, Florida, everywhere that there are uh, good junior college football players, and we're really excited about adding the mid-year junior college players to our high school signees. What is the resonating message that you're sending out to those that you want to come here? We need an immediate competition. You know, and every one of these guys we've recruited has been told they're coming in here to compete to play next year. We need to get better as a football program. 2018 wasn't good enough. It wasn't what we've become accustomed to with Old Dominion football. So this is all about creating competition starting January 14th, the first day of classes and workouts. What does a junior college student athlete bring to the mm -hmm. table that perhaps one coming out of high school doesn't bring? A couple things. Number one, higher level of competition. Number two, older, more veteran players, guys that have been through it. The majority of these junior college players have spent two years playing in the junior colleges, and the ones that we've recruited are playing against the best competition in America. You're talking about the schools in California, the schools in Kansas, Texas, Mississippi. These are the top junior college players in America, Florida, all these schools, Ted, players go there because they want an opportunity to be recruited to play Division I football. So these guys are hungry for this opportunity. And you talk about junior college success stories for the Old Dominion football program. Can start with the first quarterback, Thomas DeMarco. Yeah, as you know, Ted, when we built the program, we, we didn't want to play with just high school players. We needed some veteran guys to come in. And guys like uh, Thomas DeMarco, who is an outstanding quarterback, our first ever quarterback, by recruiting junior college players that year, we were able to start 9-2. and two and that's the goal this year. Have these junior college players come in and be impactful to the program. So here we go. Let's get to it. The 2018 December Old Dominion University football signees. We start with Isaac Abel, a 6'1", 260-pound tight end from Mechanicsville, Virginia. Yeah, high school player from here in Virginia, Ted. Tremendous position flexibility. He played defensive end, three technique in high school. Outstanding defensive player. Uh, we've recruited him to play the tight end H-back position. So this guy's got flexibility. Frederick Antoine is a 6'1", 200-pound wide receiver from Quebec, Canada, going north of the border. The number one recruit, Ted, out of Canada. Again, I, I, are you going to hear me say position flexibility a lot? When you look at, at Frederick, you look at it, the passes he caught, the carries he had. Uh, he's got 4'4 four, four speed, so similar to Isaiah Harper, who had the ability to catch the ball or run the ball, that's what Frederick has the ability to do. Tyree Bibby, 6'3", 260-pound defensive tackle from Hialeah, Florida. Yeah, really interesting story, Ted. He ended up playing in Coffeyville, Kansas, a junior college in Kansas this year. He was a high school quarterback who injured his shoulder, tremendous size, and as Tyree told the story to me, he asked his coach, look, I want to play Division I ball. I can't throw the ball anymore. What's the best position? He moved over to the defensive line. Defensive end, D-tackle, tremendous athleticism. Harold Blackman is a 5-foot, 11-inch, 190-pound safety from Jackson, Mississippi. Wow. Talk about production. Uh, when you look at, look at Harold, look at his numbers. I mean, he gets people on the ground, Ted. He had 146 tackles as a senior in high school, had 56 tackles and four interceptions this past year playing at Colin Junior College. Outstanding football player. Will Brachini is his 5'10", 170-pound cornerback from Rockland, California. All you need to know about Will Brachini is in 21 games, he had 22 interceptions. He's a two-time junior college All-American. And we need to intercept more balls on defense. He brings that to our program. Braxton Collins, 6'4", 176-pound wide receiver from Greer, South Carolina. Yeah, high school player, Ted, um, who's just had tremendous production. You look at his size. When, when you look at his size, Ted, at 6'4", that's in the Fulgham Duhart category. That's a guy who can run, can go up and get the ball. We like to throw those one-on-ones. Our league's a lot of man coverage. This guy comes in with size and ability. Caleb Ford Dement, a 5'11", 180-pound cornerback from White House, Texas. Yeah, outstanding player, Ted. Another corner 
that you look at and you see 10 pass breakups and you see he had seven interceptions this year, two of them that he returned for touchdowns. So a lot of this theme you're going to hear from us is we need to turn people over more. We need to intercept the football more, and that's what he has done at a very high level of football in Texas. Elijah Golston, 6'4", 230 pounds, defensive end from Seattle, Washington. Yeah, this is a younger player, Ted, and you'll be talking a lot next year when you're introducing these guys that he's got, he's three for two or he's four for three, meaning what's their eligibility? Well, Elijah's younger. He's got four years to play three, so he could redshirt next year or play. He's got three years of eligibility, so a lot of development to put on that long athletic frame. Blake Heal, 6'3", 290, defensive tackle, Huntington Beach, California. Oh, this is a guy that our, our players fell in love with right away. We like to refer to him as a weight room warrior. He's a guy that just loves to work out, uh, loves to lift weights, absolutely loves football. He's going to be a tremendous addition to that defensive line. That you know we graduated a lot of defensive linemen. There's opportunities to come in and play right away. Ryan Henry, 6'2", 215 pounds, a linebacker from Goulds, Florida. Yeah, tremendous athlete, Ted. This guy's got incredibly high motor on the field. He runs, he gets people on the ground. Uh, his dad was an outstanding player back on those great Miami teams in the, in the mid-80s, so tremendous bloodline. Corey Jackson, a 6'4", 200-pound linebacker from Poplarville, Mississippi. When I look at Corey Jackson, Ted, I think of Lawrence Garner. Very similar body type, a lot of length, uh, sideline to sideline guy with a big frame. And you'll enjoy watching his video. This guy really gets after the quarterback. Artarian Johnson, a six foot, 190 pound safety from Wiggins, Mississippi. In two years as a safety at Gulf Coast, RT's had 110 tackles total in two years. That is productivity. He's got a tremendous ability to get people on the ground from that safety position, and that's what we need to see. Elante Jones, 6'4", 230 pound defensive end from Lynchburg, Virginia. Yeah, Elante was rated the number 82 weak side defensive end in the country. He's got a big frame. His best football is definitely ahead of him, Ted. Kadir Kunta, 6'6", 263 pound defensive lineman from Bethesda, Maryland. When you first meet Kadir, you're going to think Rashad Coward. Here's a guy who we've recruited as a defensive lineman played offensive line this year. And you know the story, Ted. Rashad Coward played defensive line for us, and he's now an offensive lineman for the Chicago Bears. Kadir is big, he's athletic, he's got position flexibility. He could play on either side of the football. Tegan McDonald, 6'3", 302-pound offensive lineman from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Tremendous player, tremendous worker, passionate about football, squats over 500 pounds already in high school. And the other thing, Ted, that really jumps out about you, he started 39 straight games on an excellent football team playing for an excellent program. Austin Mosier, a 6'3", 270-pound offensive lineman from Piscataway, New Jersey. Yeah, Piscataway High School won the state championship this year with a 13-0 record. He was named the team MVP. He's athletic with really good feet. He, he gives us a lot of position flexibility, Ted. He can play center guard, tackle. He's also a tremendous long snapper. He's a nationally ranked long snapper, which you don't often see out of an offensive lineman. Carson Ramos, 6'3", 240-pound defensive lineman from Yuba City, California. Yeah, Carson really grabbed our attention here, Ted, within the last couple weeks. The more we got to know him, the tremendous work ethic. He played on a good football team that had a lot of good players. He rotated in, so his numbers weren't as big as they could have been. But this guy is tough. He's a hard worker. He's going to bring a lot of value to our defensive line. Brandon Ruff, 6'6", 270-pound offensive lineman from Bedford, Virginia. Another guy, Ted, with tremendous position flexibility. This guy was, was all region at defensive line as well. This season, Ted, at defensive line, he had 69 tackles and 12 sacks. And this is a guy that we think is going to be a tremendous offensive lineman, but he's a two-way player. Stone Smart, 6'4", 220-pound quarterback from Antelope, California. 
Yeah, when, when you look at Stone Smart, you can go down all the list of accomplishments. What really jumps out to me is this year in an excellent league, 31 touchdowns, only three interceptions. He led California Juco quarterbacks in passing efficiency. He was named the Offensive Player of the Year and the California State Offensive Player of the Year. And there are some very good football players out in California. This guy's a dual threat guy, Ted, who can do a lot of things well. Brandon Smith, 6'4", 285-pound offensive lineman from Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, this when you, when I think about Brandon Smith, he's had number one thing, a physical player, but he's played center and guard. The last two years, he, he played guard. Uh, this past year, he played center two years ago. He can play any position in the offensive line. And as you know, in our system, we like offensive linemen with position flexibility. Keyshawn Wicks, 6'1", 180-pound running back from Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Keyshawn Wicks' production, Ted, is very similar to last year when we were doing this talking about Lala Davis and talking about Will Knight, guys that just had astronomical high school numbers. In the last two years, Keyshawn has had over 4,000 yards rushing and 39 touchdowns. This is another guy with just tremendous production playing good high school football. Tony Williams, 6'1", 215-pound linebacker from Mission Viejo, California. Here's another guy, Ted, another junior college player with a lot of production, 100 tackles in the last two years. He was primarily a nickel uh, playing at Saddleback. We think he can play that nickel or outside linebacker position. He gives us a lot of flexibility, Ted, in whether it's a 4-3 scheme or a 3-4. This is a very talented player. Hayden Wolf, 6'5", 212-pound quarterback, Venice, Florida. Another very highly rated quarterback, Ted. He and Stone Smart, it, it's production. When you look at production, um, you, you can look at their numbers, particularly this past year. He's playing at Venice, who ends up 12-2, and two, playing tremendous competition in Florida, very competitive league, and put up big numbers throwing the ball, 2,700 yards, 30 touchdowns in his senior year. He's a guy that's got a lot of upside, a lot of room to grow, and when you have a quarterback, Ted, come in in the mid-year early out of high school, that's, that's basically like stealing an extra year. This is going to be great for Hayden. So there you have it, December 2018 signing day for Old Dominion University, an exciting time. Congratulations to you and the staffers been out all over the country trying mm -hmm. to uh, restock the shelves for Monarch football and it's mm -hmm. it's got to be tiring but it's got to be exciting as well. It's exciting Ted, it's a lot of fun. I, I love getting out and getting to meet all the people you get to meet when you go all across the country and because of the way recruiting works um, you can build your roster however you want. You can recruit whoever you want and I also want to point out Ted how much goes into this. The amount of compliments we've received from parents saying this was the best visit they've ever been on and that comes from not only the football staff but all the people here at Old Dominion that get involved with it. You're talking about everybody in our building, you're talking about the administration, you're talking about everybody in compliance that's got to do all the background work. There's so many people here that help us put our best foot forward and this class is a part of a, a, the team behind the team because as you know it takes a village and we had a village working on this one. And lastly before we get you out of here on this December signing day when you're out and about do people talk about tech? Do people talk about yeah. three untimed downs? Do be, people talk about down 28 nothing to come back? Does that resonate yeah. nationwide? It does. The big one was the Virginia Tech win because that was national. Uh, everybody in America loves an underdog and when you're, you, you have one of the greatest comebacks in the history of college football, I was shocked at how many people watched that, whether I was in Texas or California or Mississippi or Florida. People knew that game and that was just a tremendous segue into Here's everything else we have going on at Old Dominion University. Well, congratulations. We look forward to seeing these student athletes here on campus, and who knows what they'll bring to the 2019 ODU football team. Congratulations. You got it. Ted Alexander, ladies and gentlemen, happy holidays, everyone.